nobody's probably could tell them. <laughs> they probably did. I knew that a lot of people. They said it was a vapor hat. Grandchildren and nieces and nephews or something like that. They didn't hardly ever try to, if there's a bunch of them. But they got that line in the paper. I don't know how it was. It's so good. I'm a horn. Horn, that's what it was. Because she called him horn. Yeah, that's what it was. Horn, so she called him. Uh, I mean, was his first one. Harm, he was called Harm. They didn't say Harm, they said Harm, didn't they? I don't know. Everybody says that I've got a mixture between a Yankee and a Southern accent, and they can tell on the phone. Yankee, southern, southern Yankee. So did you call Will, Will, <laughs> Will Enoch, or they, what did people Big call Bill. Will? Will. Big Bill. Grandma called him Will. I don't you know. know. I guess I called him Dad. Yeah, she referred to him on she lived with. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought she called him. Bill Dad's what we called him. The Bill Dad. But everybody around home that refers to him in talking about him will say Mr. Will. Will Owens. Yeah. But I don't know what she called him Will. That's why I remember her calling him. And you called him Bill Dad? We called him Bill Dad. You remember him? I only thing I can Just remember. Just barely, oh, so barely. Is he ought to be able to remember a good bit? I can only the reason I remember is because Daisy and Cecil were there with uniforms on, which I had not seen before. That's the only thing I remember is out there when that picket fence was them standing there. Nan had some kind of a car with a running board. I know what they called it. Yeah, that yeah. you could get out and get in. And I just remember people there, and that's all I remember. I don't, and I knew Grandpa died, but I don't remember Grandpa. Well, you was only about three years old. Well, I was two in July, and he died in November, so you can see why well, I wouldn't remember anything, but he was almost three. Three. Hmm. three. Almost four. Yeah, he was almost four. Really, I can't old. remember her anything until I was about 10, 15 years old. I can remember more oh, than I, can I was remember two, more. Two, I can remember yeah. more back then than I can what happened yesterday. I can too. I remember a lot I don't of why that is, but <laughs> they tell me that that's normal. I don't know why it's taking that moment anymore if it was or what we were doing, mm -hmm. you know, it's all gone now. Yeah, I still catch myself on the call. Oh, yeah, I'll ask Tom also. And I remember doing that about Grandma Owens for years and years and years. I'll ask Grandma. It just come, you know, you know almost the time it went through your mind. You couldn't ask her she was gone, but I depended on her to know mm -hmm. a lot of things. You know, she was real knowledgeable, and I could ask her about certain things that she'd always know. Yeah, I can yeah. remember telling telling us about the Titanic. She just knew stuff, you know. Well, that was the year after she was married. Yeah. The Titanic went down. And the reason our dad didn't go to the war, of course, he had all of us children, but he was next. He, I heard Mama say that he was to go on the train. I think maybe was at the station when they declared the war was over. Hmm. And that was World War War Two. One. Yeah, it could be World War Two because he died about that time. World War One. See, he they were married in eleven, and war started in eighteen sixteen eighteen. I so can't remember that. It wasn't long. That first World War wasn't very long for uh, our part. Well, I thought it was eighteen nineteen. Nineteen hundreds, one nineteen. Eighteen and eight, nineteen eighteen and nineteen and nineteen. No, that's what I thought too, Dennis. That was when that, well, now that was the year that they came up in the flu epidemic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a lot of people died. That's what happened to the, to your brother. Yeah, no, he did. He was four, three or four, one even. And when dad, yeah. or when, I can remember when my dad had the shingles. That was at the same time Cecil was born. Too many children, he's scared. And uh, I was, uh, I used to go in the bed with Dad, and he, and he was real bad when Cecil How did it was born. Him? He had the shingles. And did Jenner, what did it do to him? What did, I never saw anybody with him. Like 
Well, they, then they always said if they went around I'm you, tell that. they'd that is kill so you, but <laughs> that's not true anymore. No. I mean, they found out that has absolutely nothing. No. Used to not, not have them on the, on the outside, but they say now that they could be on the inside and they will kill you. That's the irritation of the nerve endings. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, she yeah. had them, they were bothering her bed. She she had had she never I said I didn't, I don't remember anything about her having them. Now that she said it, did she have webs? I think that's what I did, I guess so. Mm-hmm. She got stuck from taking care. I can remember Dad having them on both sides through here. And as I said, now I, Cecil was born, and I was, he's, he's, he's three years younger than me, or two and a half. Well, you were born the latter part of 21, he was born the early part of 24. Figure it out. I couldn't. Mm -hmm. Two and a half years, I think, is when I... But according to him, I'm older than... or he's older than me. Not got that in his head too long, did he? See, he, he... According to the marine records, and mine would be somewhere too. I mean, they just apparently never had reason to compare oh, them. Oh, no, they were never got together to see because that. Because according to the Marine the records, time. he was born in March 21, mm -hmm. and I was born in November 21. Well, I was they said quickie, that wasn't I? he was, uh, now, let's see, what, what year would that have been when he went up to uh, Teleco Plains? To work to with the a camp. Camp. He was only 15 when he went. Thank you, John. He was there about a year. And he went to the Marine Corps at 16. I've got some, uh, well, I think I gave him a to, to Cecilia, some letters that he had written from Teleco Plain. Uh, well, you know, we went, Mom and I went up there. Took him dinner? No, uh, he came down. To where Mama, I did, I was stayed at the house. I didn't see him, but me and her took the bus and went up there, and that's where Uncle Lodge Lodge lived, and Mary and her her husband was the son of Lodge, wasn't it? And he was uh, Uncle Lodge was the dad, wasn't it? Blind. Blind. And I remember staying down there with him, and Mama met Cecil at some cafe or something, and visited, and then we, uh, Mary, me, I remember going to Mary's, uh, she was a, a telephone operator, and she was, they were still plucking them in that way, and I thought that was so fascinating, that's what I wanted to do. And uh, then her husband was working in the copper mine still, see, that's supposed to have been what Blinded yeah. Uncle Lodge. Yeah, he worked in the copper mine. I don't know how he got up there. Yeah, I don't either. Long. Somebody asked me the other day, or some of you maybe asked me, you how did he ever it. get to the copper, up there with those copper mines? Mayersville was where, in one at Mayersville. Oh, Mayersville? Mayersville, we call it. Now, Uncle Lodge was Grandma Owen's brother, so Elijah? he was Elijah. There was Elijah and Goodlow. Goodlow and Mama. Annie. About the and first Mama time. was about uh, four, three or four years old when. Uh, she was about eight when she didn't we figure that out when the mother well, died. Well, I don't know. I can remember her saying, standing up and making biscuits. I believe we figured And we washing the dishes. We got that down somewhere anyway. And uh, she died with. Uh, Typhoid fever, I believe. I didn't know that. I don't think I ever knew what she died. Well, I can remember, Mama. It was some some type of a disease that they, she her whole body they had turned her in the sheet. And Mama, her mom told me that she died. I remember one. turning the sheet. I've heard that from somewhere. I don't know what. That was, was Erasmus. Good luck. Was, was his name? Was that his name? But there was also, I think, an uncle in there somewhere, but I might maybe thought that was Sterling's brother. He may have had a brother named Erasmus. There's, over at the Champ Cemetery, I think there is an Erasmus ward. Maybe a child, I don't know. I remember, there's no date, I don't think. And it was all so messed up, I couldn't read. 
But Uncle Goodlow was saying, Mr. Rasmus, Goodlow, or Goodlow, I think it's Rasmus. Then swimming pool, I reckon. And then his, um, like a drowned rat, so he must have been. And Elijah, I don't know what he's doing. You been anymore. in swimming pool? Are we? We've been running through that. Long time. I never ago. saw him. Yeah. But then he went with Daddy and Grandma up there to see him one time. You remember that? They took you. They never take us in there. Took him up there. And he's a great big kid. You don't remember that? Huh? The man was blind up at Maryville. Who'd you stay with? I stayed home with Mom and whoever. Mom didn't go. Oh. It was just Grandma and Daddy and Danny. Where is Maryville? Yeah, you know where the college is up there? You know where the Copper was? Hills? Where all those. Hills, barren hills with no growth for it. Now, maybe now it may be growing, but it's a strip. Look, hills of the Smokies, terrible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before you out. get to knock it, out of there. How many kids did they have? I think just the one boy. I think it was just one or two. Just one boy, and his wife's name was Mary. But I don't remember any more about it. So there's probably still some of them up there, aren't they? They would have been more. Okay, now let's think about it. Okay. What songs do you remember Grandma always singing? You oh, shoot, she wouldn't. She oh. sang ballads like the May I Sleep in Your Barn Tonight, Mister? It is cold lying out on the ground. She could do some wonderful things. And then there was Nellie Bye, Nellie Bye. Yeah. I, I was going to. Not As somebody who uh, knew those on. songs, I, I can sleep in your barn tonight, mister. It is cold lying out on the ground, and the cold north wind it is blowing, and I have no place to lie down. And then the, the rest of it goes on to tell about in the morning he was gone with his daughter. I remember Nan telling that, but I thought it was you. I don't know. 
I don't remember. I think yeah, it was then. Uh, I remember how Mama used to take stuff to the everybody. We would make she would make outing flannel diapers. Take to the needy people that had babies and didn't have things put on them or yeah. wrap them in. Remember Nan talking about that. And those people needed back then. Did y'all hear President Reagan now? Oh, did he? No, we didn't hear it. At 11 this morning. Oh. Uh-huh. What was she saying? He almost died on D-Day. Oh, it was three Reagan. hour time. So just I know three hours ago. Three hours. I mean, three o'clock. Hour time. Pneumonia complicated by all time. Well, thank you for the report. I haven't had the news on all day. This I've been entertained without the news. <laughs> My soap is. The news doesn't do much for you, I tell you. But I feel like I need at least get. I like to keep up with it. I've been looking at a lot of the D Day, not a lot of any, 30 minutes and all, but D Day, you know, talking to, them, D-day, D-day. to the people. Now, I want to know this, but you probably don't know this either. And I know that I've got the information somewhere. Now was James Griffin Griffin was he killed in the Normandy wasn't he? No, I don't think he was he wasn't killed in Normandy. Because he didn't go overseas till later, like in forty four. Yeah. Uh, well time. he died in forty five because I remember he and, and Baker died the same year. He was yeah, he, I've got all that information somewhere and I've just Baker. gotta dig it out. That was that Mary's, was Mary's second, second husband. husband. She married him in Florence, South Carolina. Uh-huh. He didn't yeah, live at 30 days when he was he 10, 15. 15 days. And was he killed was killed on a, a training mission out on the Florida Gulf of Florence there. And uh, he was a gunner in the bottom of a fighter plane. Hmm. And it just took his torrent right off at the bottom. And the pilot's body was found pretty good distance on the head of the route. Of, hmm. But they never did find him. He was lost at sea. Now that all that took place while Barbara was still at home with Grandma. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We well, took her father. Barbara's father. Then. No, that was King. Oh, King was Barbara's father. Now, yeah. now, what about how did? I still don't know. Barbara was born thirty six in October. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Then, and and I did not know that she, her mom and daddy had been married like three years before she was born. I didn't know that. I thought she was born. Oh, they've been right married a pretty good while. Yeah. You mean James King and Mary? Yeah, yeah. Dad, had, uh, Mom and Dad had paid him out of jail. I don't know how many times. Well, see, she was 16 when she, she married, and she was 19 when Barbara was born. I believe that's why we figured it. I just figured she married him, they had a baby, you know, within a year, and, mm-hmm. but, and divorced. No, it was a while. She had moved back in, down in the hollow. When, when the baby was that. born. When He'd already gone. Born. Born. Yeah. But, uh... Now, what I was trying to figure, okay, she was born in 36. Now, try to remember what year, you probably don't know this, that Mary married, I think we talked about this and you weren't sure of this, what year did she marry John Humbleys? Now, he was, she met him, he was in service in South Carolina, didn't you say? No, I don't think he, he, well, he might have been in service, but he was working in the same, uh, yeah. airplane part factory that Mary was working in. So and what year did she marry him, do you know? Well, let's see, Barbara was only 10 That would have been 46. She, okay, so, yeah, so she was, yeah. But I was trying to figure one time, and it was almost coincidental, <laughs> coincided, with the time that Grandpa Owens died, and I was wondering if Mary had already gotten Barbara at that time, or if Barbara was still there when Grandpa died. No, she wasn't. Remember. She was uh, already in Tacoma. If so, looks to me like that would have been pretty hard on them knowing they'd taken that child, and then he died. See, that's what I.